So all those in favor, please raise your hand. Unanimous vote. This motion that the Guam Education Policy Board members voted on was to accept the superintendent's declaration that the schools will be ready to open on Tuesday. During this meeting, there were several items discussed, which includes the three RFPs that are at the Attorney General's office, whether there's money for the deed program, if school buses will run on time, if there's enough textbooks and teachers for the classrooms. Before schools can start, there are three contractual services DOE needs to procure before the doors can open. These services include custodial services, cafeteria services, and document management services, which handles all the photocopying services throughout DOE. We already have gotten the uh, governor to sign a declaration of emergency, which would allow us to procure the services even though we do not have a contract yet. Also brought up was that there was a lack of money to run the deed program. According to Underwood, she asked U.S. Department of Education Christine Jackson if ERA funds could be used to serve as a bridge for these programs that are funded by the consolidated grants. DOE cannot tap into the consolidated grants until a third party is in place and running. So right now I'm just uh, waiting for the official uh, approval from USDOE. And, and once we get the official approval, we can then begin to uh, use those funds for the consolidated grant programs. And so DEED would be one of those. Another complaint brought up at the meeting was that the school buses at the Inaraha Middle School are late 71 percent of the time. The school schedules being in conflict, there were a number of days by which students were late, I believe, at Inrahan Middle School. So we'll have to resolve that by adjusting uh, the bell schedule for both. Or hopefully uh, DPW can provide another bus. Underwood says error grants will be used for electrical upgrades at all the schools and to add on to the Ukudu High School to accommodate an additional 400 to 600 students. Underwood also ensures that each classroom will have a set of textbooks and a teacher. She says they are still actively recruiting certified teachers, but to fill their void, they will use limited term, retired, and substitute teachers. David Macaluso, PNC News.